I'd just like to welcome you guys to the channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks all the new people, new subscribers who are building the toroidal temple in the woods. It's gonna be this 12-pointed star dome structure that we've been working on right now and a lot more. So thanks for being here. Follow us along on the journey of building this thing. It's gonna be an interesting ride. Just doing it one step at a time and just want to share it with y'all. Have a good time doing it. So Help live the dream with us. You can subscribe below. Thank you for all your support, love, comments. Um, share it if you want. It's gonna be a fun journey, a unique building and uh, with a unique purpose. So keep checking us out and much appreciate you. Yeah, this past week we've been putting out more arches on the dome. We had 12 of them, 12 three plies that all need to go up in a very interesting and intricate uh, way. So we just started putting them up and I spent all week up there hand cutting and chiseling and removing little lap joints for all the places where they touch. So on the second layer there was I believe five lap joints per board that went up per arch and on um, the last layer which consists of four pieces there were 16 lap joints there Oof. all right just got the ninth and tenth ones up in the air ninth and tenth up in the air it's uh, looking a little nutty up here um, yeah, we were gonna build these up as we went but I had the thought to just add this last four set without building up, then we might not have to do as many lap joints because there was uh, five on each of those last pieces and it gets a little much. So I think we can just butt into there and hide these little gaps when they come up. So we'll have pieces going in here like this and in here like this, and building all that up to seven layers. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge for sure, but what we got, we got two more pieces on the ground and these two in the air. So I got to figure out how to, where these ones are going to lap and where they're not going to lap and go from there. Wish me luck. Some people say it might've been smarter to measure these on the ground, but I like to make things challenging. Here we are, having to do this by oneself. Threading the old needle. A little temporary clamp there. <laughs> and we'll go click it on the bottom. But you don't leave home without your trusty tape measure clamp right here. Takes the curve really nice. Grab that and carefully roll it down. And clip it on. It's going to want to come off. That's where we get our special tape measure clamp in place. Just like that. Roof. Okay, and then back up the ladder again. Oh, working by yourself, it's like where there's a will, there's a way. Chris is busy cobbing at Rasheen's and Nida's down in Duncan. He might come up tomorrow to help me finish this off. 
but feels like a bit of a rite of passage to do this by myself. So then we come back over here to the tape. one here yeah that's the one okay so we're gonna have eight and then down to full three quarters on the far side that's right yeah <laughs> it's happening Nigel putting the last notch in here bro I'm the jizzin' one. Jizz your dome adventure. They're at the stage of having to bring these out to full dimension. So they come together here. We've got this little angle cut. And they're all gonna come out and be seven layers thick in the end. So out to here and out to here. Put two on here and two on there. Bring it all the way out to seven layers thick. So, next job, big one, continues. Try to get this thing sheeted somehow, magically. Thanks for coming along with us on this journey. It's gonna be a fun ride. Living the dream we wish to see in this world. So, thank you for being a part of it. and. Uh, and I hope our actions inspire you to do that in your lives as well. Much love, everyone. Take care.